quite often we find these uh, Rhode Island temp edges. The paper ones are um, just printed up, they're made fraudulently. How we doing? Off stair work, please. I'm just checking on your registration. Okay. Yeah, it looks, it's, uh, I don't know if it's the uh, the plate cover, but it looks really worn. How long have you had it? A couple weeks. weeks. Is that the uh, temp tag they gave you? No, actually the guy gave it to me. Oh, when you bought the car, he gave it to you? All right. All right, thank you. Where'd you buy it? Did you buy it in Mass? No, I bought it from here. Oh, you bought it in Rhode Island? Yeah, he sells cars. I guess it goes to the auction. Okay. Where's where's where is he out of Providence? Yeah. All I right. actually found him on Facebook. So when you went down to get the car, does he have like a car lot and an office, or is it kind of yeah, like he met you somewhere? Off. Um, it's not a car lot. It's his mom's house. He said, but he has different <laughs> okay. cars that he sells. All right. Yeah. But he has like six cars out there he sells. All right. Did you find it odd that the guy's running a uh, a car sales actually, lot out of his mom's house? Actually, I didn't. And if he's, if okay. He goes to an auction. You know what I mean? All right. I didn't. Then. The plate has a different name uh, than this gentleman's using, and the bill of sale she has is uh, out of New York, so nothing here is adding up. It doesn't look like it's stolen at this point, but it, it certainly isn't uh, legitimately registered or anything through the state. Should I be driving this with that plate? Do you have insurance? No. No? We did it on, on, on the computer. So he's, he's claiming... That you should have insurance for this too? I gave him the money. Yep. And he did online, like he was doing my insurance, and that's why there's insurance number and stuff on there. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see where I'm coming from? Typically, what we'll see is somebody like yourself would buy a car from a guy that goes to auctions, and he'll just throw, some... he found this plate on the ground last week, and he'll say, hey, here's the car, and I'll give you a plate with it. You know what I mean? And they'll do it that way. But it, these are very easily forged. We went. Let me, let me say what I thought he was So now, see, this says Narragansett Auto Sales. That's not the name of his company. So. Let see, me tell you why I thought he was legit. Because who does something legit and brings you to their mother's house? Right? Legit or not, not legit? Well, well. If you bring somebody to your mother's house, you think they ain't doing nothing funny. Well, you'd be surprised. Not everybody's as honest as you and I are. Probably the easiest way to get this rectified is to go down to the registry and just get it registered. Because if you were on the roadway, you'd probably be towed. All right? And, and then, if I uh, get into an accident, I don't got no real insurance. Right. No Sorry. It's all right. Thank you. All right, good luck. Thank you very much. All right. From speaking to her, I, I, I believe she's being honest that she was, you know, wasn't totally aware of uh, maybe all the formalities involved in this and uh, the legit, uh, as far as being legitimate. So we're going to cut her a break on it. Hopefully, uh, she'll get everything taken care of and she won't run into any issues in the future.